Grillamine is commonly known for just doing generic flavors, but that's not a fault run. It's really fun. You can have some like the grape, the orange, the arctic. All of them are actually pretty fun. When you get into other stuff like a truffle flavor or like a, let's say a bomb pop flavor, call me intrigued because I like to see what they do. Bomb pop flavors tend to go either very red and, and blue or white and blue or like warm, like in there, it's never a full balance. It's never 3D energy. 3D energy does something interesting where it was like all three, it's a like tier. Does Grill Mind do that? Well, spoilers, kind of. No, I did read re this before. I don't like that video because for some reason it had a weird blue wall in front of it because I got to turn off the cameras anyway. So, how is it like monthly? It's fine. Very much of like, like a white cherry smell to it. It's very interesting. Off the bat, the taste is very much of like a blue popsicle, which is like the most common flavor combination I, I taste. And it kind of said that only there's a little bit. There's a little bit of cherry. Um, is it the best bomb pop flavor out there? No, it's not. Not by far. Not even by a long shot. It tends to miss something, honestly. Um, <clears throat> just doesn't have that, that pizzazz or panache that uh, 3D Energy or like other pop flavors have. From Amy, a four out of five stars. This was my first time trying Girl Mine since it's so expensive. Let me think Rocket Pop. The only other good drink out there is better. It's fucked up Rocket Pop. The fucked up one's kind of weird. This is still very delicious, but it's like a weird aftertaste. Kind of like when you hit take something, but it, but it goes away. I drink mine with 68 hours at work, so I'm not chuggy, but it did keep me going. However, I drink wine and drink a day, so this might affect other people much more. Yeah, girl wine's uh, on the lower end. Um, they promote a lot of no sugars or like um, like amplified focus. They have only about 200 milligrams of. Yeah, there's only about 200 milligrams of caffeine, uh, which is actually pretty low for a lot of companies, actually. A lot of them go for like two, two, 280, 120-ish. Actually, so it's kind of like in the middle there. That's kind of it, because it's kind of like the all this stuff that has a lot of quality control. That is Amazon's fault. That is not Grill Mine's fault. Um, uh, I got my through Excellent Summons. They tend to be pretty good with quality, even though uh, I got the C4 Hawaiian Punch and the bump the camera bulged. That's not the best. A lot of times, actually, the, the UPS or FedEx around me, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, overall, this flavor is really nice. The candy is nice. This is something interesting that I like. Or it has this, like, uh, tie dye, I don't even like a watercolor effect on the can that I really like that's not really seen. Like, Grill Mind, you did solid uh, like a solid can design, but I'm sure they don't want to use for 3D energy. Overall, I like this flavor. Definitely would recommend it just to have something like nice. It's a nice summer drink. I really need to do that top 10 video. They'll be coming very soon. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe to the channel.